state witness has shed light on the power struggles within and among underworld bosses, he may not be identified by order of court. His evidence in chief mainly centered around his connection with steroid king Brian Weinstein, who was shot dead in his Constantia home in August 2017. According to the indictment, Weinstein and accused number one, Mark Lufman, clashed over investments and property deals. Weinstein wanted to take over and run the entire steroid industry. The witness says Weinstein manufactured steroids locally, which he sold to a myriad of stores, making between 400,000 and 600,000 rand a month. I would receive my monthly amounts from different clients, so I'd get paid directly from clients, and then I would take it to a destination of his choice. Which would be mostly two places. One would be in Cape Town CBD and the other one would be his premises at home. Adding that huge sums of money would regularly be laundered out of the country undetected. Weinstein, he said, was close to Ralph Stanfield and Colin Boyson, accused to Jerome's Boyson's brother. The witness also testified about a corrupt relationship between accused six Wayne Henderson, a police officer, and Weinstein. He said Weinstein was arrested for uncut diamonds, but nothing came of it. Yes, he had been caught in the um, CVD of Cape Town with uncut diamonds in a brown bag. Did he appear in court today? Had they an offer scheme for the ISA? He did not, my lord. He had often an amount to be taken to Wayne Henderson to have it dropped. Can you please repeat that? He had often a certain amount to be given to Captain or Lieutenant Payne or Captain Henderson as a name for the amount of money to be dropped. And I I mean, for the docket to be removed and evidence to be thrown away. The witness said he visited the police officer up to 10 times to drop off money for favors he had done for Weinstein. The witness who is in witness protection will continue his testimony on Monday. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.